Oh Lord, I missed everybody. Been gone for three weeks. <coughs> Enjoyed my trip to Michigan. As you know, we had two granddaughters. One graduated college, and her younger sister graduated high school. And we were up there for all that. It's a blessing. But it's, it also wears on an old man to drive that far. I'm, I'm glad Carol was with us coming back. Help share the driving. Went to church a couple times while we were there. Went on up to Lovell, Michigan, which is on up by Gaylord. The church I pastored up there for about 12 years. And they were glad to see me. It was good to see all of them. For probably 10 years, I guess. Since we'd, we'd seen some of them. God's good. His mercies endure forever. And I, I don't know. I can see I've Blessing, been gone three weeks and yeah. uh, missed you. I That's for sure. talk to the Lord every day. <laughs> Maybe absent from the church body, but I can be present with the Lord wherever I am. And, uh, sometimes I just sit and talk to Him, just like talking to a good friend. You know, I just say, I love you, Lord. Thank you for loving me and. For saving me, and most of all for keeping me right down to this yeah, moment. Yeah, that's right. Man. Come on. God has been so good. I was just thinking about Father's Day today, and my family, and yeah, was blessed to baptize my wife, both my daughters, some of the grandchildren. God is good. Yeah, that's we so can't good. outgive Him, and I don't. He doesn't owe me a thing, but I owe him my, of everything that I am, and, yeah. and I'm just a steward of what I am. I have a little home and an automobile, and he's blessed me with that. And, but I'll just use it to, as long as my life, and I'll hand it over to maybe one of you young and sure. And we have, a lot of us have last wills and testaments. And as Jesus said, the testament is of no effect until the testator dies. Amen. That will that my wife and I have will lay in the lockbox until we pass. And what we leave behind is to be equally divided between my two daughters. That's my will. But you know there's a lot of things that can happen. I don't know if I'll be blessed to preach or not, but I feel good this morning and I'm thankful to God. Yeah. Like I started to say a while ago, we can't outgive Him. No. You know, we do all that we are commanded to do and we're just to count ourselves as yeah. unprofitable servants. I'm, yeah. I'm nothing. I, without, uh, without God, I can do nothing. I couldn't even take my next breath. That's right. You think about that. Uh, you know, we... We live and we die. And whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. He made us. He created us. He took a handful of dust and made the first man, and we're just yeah. multiplied atoms. Yeah. So, That's right. Dust thou art, and to dust thou shalt return. But there is a, a part of man that will never die. Yeah. <clears throat> so. To be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord immediately. Yeah. My soul is not going to go in the ground. <laughs> no. You know, no, just a shell. We, right. we carried my dad up on the hill, and you were just that. barely enough to handle one corner of the casket. We, I don't know, you were maybe 12 years old. That would have been his 91st birthday. And it was my 56th birthday. Yeah. I was born on his 35th birthday. Well, Mom was six months pregnant with me and they drafted him in World War II. And I was three or four months old before he ever saw me again. God is good. Yes. Yeah. I don't know, this morning we uh, we pray for our church and like, like you said, Brother Chris, we're not praying for the building. Yeah. We are the lively stones that make up the body of Christ here on earth. And we 
every one of us that is born of God has a ministry. Yeah. Yeah. You may not stand here right. and proclaim the right. Word, but you are preaching to somebody yep. somewhere every day. Yeah. Yep. And whether you uh, realize it or not, uh, uh, you better be representing the Lord. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't let uh, uh, your children and grandchildren uh, uh, see you uh, voice your anger. I know we all get angry, uh, but the Bible says to anger and sin not. That's right. We can control it uh, with the help of God. Uh, sometimes I bite my tongue yeah, to keep too. from saying uh, what the devil's trying to get me to. Uh, but I'll declare, uh, I, I love the Lord and He loves me. Uh, yeah. And He uh, He loved uh, the world so yeah. much uh, <laughs> that He uh, God gave His only begotten Son yeah. Yeah. Uh, that whomsoever uh, right. believeth in Him uh, should not perish but have everlasting yeah. life. It's not God's will that any would perish but all would come yeah, to yeah. repentance. Uh, he said, choose life and live. Uh, uh, he, uh, he said before you an open door, and He is the door yeah. this morning. Yeah, uh, Jesus right. Christ is the yeah, only right. way uh, from, uh, from this sinful ground of sorrow uh, uh, to the heaven He went away to prepare. Uh, he said, I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go, I'll come again yeah. and receive you unto Myself, that where I am, uh, there you may be also. Uh, and you may be, you can be, yeah. if you want to, uh, uh, seek the Lord uh, in the days of thy youth. Yeah. Uh, all these uh, uh, near and may be found. Uh, uh, bless his Lord. Uh, I feel like I wasted half of my life. Uh, I was 26 yeah. uh, uh, when I finally uh, uh, fell on my face in my garage and poured out my heart to God. Yeah. Uh, and I believe he heard me. Yeah. Uh, I got That's up right. a different That's person. Right. Uh, 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 the, the sin that had put me there uh, on my face took flight and, and went away and I've never had to pray about those old sins again yeah. uh, but I, I, I commit enough uh, every day until uh, I, I try to when I lay down at night the uh, oh Lord have mercy on me yeah. Yeah. <laughs> forgive me yeah. for all those you know sometimes we we get carried out away and we have sins of omission rather than sure. commission. And I've, I've been guilty. The Lord would give me a mind to go visit somebody in the hospital and I'd put it off That's right. and that person died. Yeah. And I missed an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to repent over that. That was a sin of omission. I didn't intend to do that. Right. But it happened anyway and it was my fault. And I'm not sure whether that person knew the Lord or not. He was, he was a good man. I'm talking about Dave Wilson. You probably know who I'm talking about. He weighed about 400 pounds. Big, strong guy. Strong as an ox. And I got word that the doctor had given him six months. He had cancer. And I said, surely not. The man's strong as an ox. He, surely. He didn't last three months. And he was gone. I called his wife. I wanted to go over and talk to him. And she said, you can come, but he won't even know you're in the room. He said, he, he's just about gone. That, that broke my heart. I loved the man. He, when I was down sick, flat on my back, he caught my wife out shoveling our driveway. And I'm talking about northern Michigan. You'd get a foot of snow overnight. <laughs> Take care of that and get up the next morning, you'd have six or eight more inches. He had a plow on his truck and he came by and she was out there shoveling. He said, you get in the house. <laughs> he took care of my driveway for his, all that winter. While I was down flat on my back, I wouldn't take a penny for it. Finally, after I got better, I, I'd make him take $10. And I had a long driveway. That's the kind of person he was. But good works won't get you to heaven. The point I'm trying to make, yeah. you have to come to the knowledge and saving grace of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's the only thing. Uh, Jesus, uh, if you believe there's one God, then why can't yeah. people believe there's only one way to God? Yeah. And His yeah. name is it's Jesus way. Christ. Uh, he right. is the way. He's not a way. Uh, he said, I am the truth and the yeah. life. Uh, he has right. come to me. Uh, uh, bless God. Uh, yeah. Before He dies, uh, yeah. He's going to live forever. 
<laughs> because right. Jesus went away to prepare that place. Right. <laughs> and I, you know what? Sometimes I look at a sunset or a sunrise <laughs> and I just look up and say, nobody can paint like God can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful, but how beautiful heaven must be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I want to go. <laughs> when, when I... Uh, whew, when you lay me down in that casket, you carry me wherever. I don't really care. Yeah. Because I won't be in it. And I tell people, don't weep for me, but rather weep for yourselves and for your children. That's what Jesus said. He said, if they do this in the green tree, what will they do in the dry? Yeah. And it's getting pretty exactly. dry, folks. Yeah, it is. So this world is in a sad shape. It's right <laughs> and it's getting worse. I never dreamed that our country would be in the shape it's in. Yeah. We need to set the example That's right. for folks to get back to the Bible and back to God. I pray for our nation, for our leaders, and for the leaders of the world. And I don't care what your politics is, we're required to pray for our president. That's right. That's right. That's it. I wouldn't have the job myself. Mm -mm. I wouldn't give up my freedom and all the abuse that they have to take. <coughs> God is good. And His mercies endure forever. And if you don't know Him, get acquainted with Him. He loves you. Yeah, well he died for you. Come on. <laughs>